great change that is coming to the world has everything to do with our spirituality. Our spiritual nature, our spiritual purpose, and our spiritual intelligence all have a direct bearing on our ability to discern the great waves of change that are coming and to have the wisdom and the determination to prepare for them wisely and to foster human unity and cooperation so that the human family and so that our communities can prepare as well. The connection is very direct because we were sent into the world to enter the world under these conditions, to live at a time when the great waves of change would strike the world, where we would have to face environmental decline, changing weather, catastrophic weather, diminishing resources, growing political and economic instability, and the risk of conflict and war. It's not an accident that we're here at this time, living under these circumstances and facing now at the outset the appearance of the great ways of change that are largely the product of humanity's misuse and overuse of the world's resources. Many people, of course, don't want to face this. They look at the great ways of change, if they're looking at all, and they think it's an immense inconvenience. They want to deny it and avoid it, and to believe that some form of technology or a different political leader will take care of this problem for us. But from a higher vantage point, we were born for this time. We were born to face the great ways of change. And with this greater understanding, you can look back on your life and you can see how life has been preparing you to cultivate your strengths, to reveal your weaknesses, posing difficulties in your life, and how this can all be used as a preparation for the immense change that is coming over the horizon. We're preparing for a world that will be unlike the world that our parents knew, and certainly a world vastly different than our ancestors knew. It is not change to our favor necessarily. It is an immense disruption. For a growing humanity will have to drink from a slowly shrinking well of resources energy resources, food resources, water resources. When you begin to really study the great ways of change and to see how they're just beginning to manifest in the world now, it creates a shocking spectacle. And you can imagine how any one of them could undermine the stability and the fragility of the infrastructure of our societies and our economies. Indeed, the economic crisis we're going through now is a kind of prelude. It's very extreme, of course, in its own right. But there is greater instability to come as we have greater and greater difficulty finding the energy resources and the food production to meet the growing needs and demands of the human family and the kind of political instability this will create, leading to the very real possibility that nations will fail and that economies could collapse. The outcome will be largely dependent upon human responsibility, humanity's ability to respond. And this is where the spiritual power of knowledge, a deeper intelligence that the creator of all life has given to each one of us, will have the greatest benefit and will even hold the key to whether humanity can adapt and survive under radically changing circumstances. Therefore, do not deny the great ways of change. Do not try to project your preferences, your desires, or your fears, but face them as squarely as you can. 
knowing you don't have an answer yet, knowing you don't have a solution. Of course you don't have a solution. No one has a solution for the great ways of change. It will take a thousand solutions to face the complexity that the great ways of change will produce. But you do have a destiny in being here. And the power of this deeper intelligence holds this destiny for you. And it will be the great ways of change and all the unanticipated changes that they will produce that will call forth from you your greater gifts and your greater service to a struggling humanity. This is the fulfillment of your destiny and the highest expression of your spirituality. For we have all come into the world to serve and to contribute in a unique way to the world as it is today and to the great change that is to come.